Hey guys, this is LEGO Dude here, and in today's video, I'm bringing you something super special. Now, this thing is my police station. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed that new little intro, and stay tuned for the end when I have something extra special waiting for you there. So, let's get right into it. So, let's start with the ground floor. So, over on this side, we have the garage and a little door. And on this side, we have an elevated a little bit, and we have a nice lobby and that area. But first, let's start with the base plates. So the base plate, this one right here, is a 32 by 32 base plate with these two little road things in the middle. So that provides nicely for the garage, where the cars can nicely roll without having to go onto the studs. So then over on this side, we have a 16 by 32 base plate, and that is just dark gray, normal, with all the studs and everything. So, on this side, you can see that we have a door here that just goes in so people on the ground can go in, like these little people over here. So they can just open the door, go inside, and do their stuff. Then here we have two garage doors that open up and close. And up here we just have a little light so everybody can find their way into the garage nicely at night. And these are labeled number one and number two. That doesn't really mean which car is going which, but yeah, I have a few cars in here. I think I have three car, two car, one car, and two trucks in there. And then I have a uh, out here. I have a unmarked cruiser, which uh, has you know the hidden lights, and uh, yeah, no like police markings. Then, what I forgot about is this. This is my cool new SWAT team. So, I made a nice, very large truck. And I have, I believe, seven members of my little SWAT team. And they are armed to the teeth with all of the highest brick arms equipment they can get. So, that is my little SWAT team. They just park next to the police station. And I uh, hope that they don't have to get called out. So... Over on this side here, we have some little plant life and a modern sculpture of some type. Some type. So I just have like gold blocks stacked up there to look like modern art. Then I have just some uh, police officers having a nice friendly chat. I'll just push them off to the side so that I, you can see the uh, nice steps. The way I did that is a nice little, nice modern, clean look. And you see that I have windows going on all the sides. So... That's so you can kind of, you can, I don't know if you can see, but you can, I know you can see this guy. You can kind of see a little bit into that window. These windows you can kind of see some people in there. And here you can definitely see some, like, you know, little guy with a computer and all that stuff. So, let's get right in to the first floor. Let me just quickly take off the roof and I'll see you there. And I'm back with the roof off. So, let's go ahead and take a look on the first floor. So here's kind of a bird's eye view of the entire building. So you can kind of see that over here we have the outside area and the garages and the little lobby area over here. So I'm gonna start over here with the front door and right here we have those nice steps that lead up to the door and you can see through the window that we have our little receptionist. Now this guy here just works on his computer and, uh, yeah, then we have the little seating area here, and you can kind of see over here, we have a little wanted poster and a small TV for the people that are waiting. Next, behind the receptionist, we have a little water container, and here we have an officer filling up the water container, getting some water, you know, staying hydrated. So next, back here, we have some steps going down. And here we have our little garage access, and that is an actual glass door. So, uh, yeah, that way people can get into the garage from the inside as well. Next, in the back over here, we have, I have, my dispatchers. So these guys are, have their little, uh, their screens and stuff. That way they can, you know, see what's happening. And they just have their little computers, and, uh, yeah, they just tell the units where to go, what's happening, and, uh, all that stuff. So then over here we have our stairs, and that will bring us up to our second floor, but we're not there yet. So, over on this side we have the garage. Now, there are the doors, because this 
over here is the front, and there's the first little lane of cars in the second, and uh, our garage access is here, so they would just like walk behind here, and in the corner here we have a, a little break room, so there's a little toaster, coffee machine, some ta a little table, some chairs, and just, you know, the basics. Next over here we have a little mechanic area, and basically they just fix some of the broken cars and do all that stuff. And then all around, especially in the center, we have little barriers and stuff to block the roads and, you know, just normal police stuff. So, that is it for the first floor. And it is all tiled, of course, so that you can see, or eat, yeah, so I can, you can see it all and uh, take the roofs off. So there's one last look at it. And I will bring you the next floor. And I'm back with the next floor removed. So let's go ahead and take a tour. So starting off with our little staircase, which comes up right here, you see that we have a beautiful atrium that lets in all of this nice light. And here we have a nice little rail where officers and people can just look over and watch the first floor. So over here, next to the stairs, we have two open little desk areas, and they have their little screens, computers, and you know, newspaper, coffee machine, you know, very relaxed. And uh, here we have a guy just enjoying the nice view, and there he is through the window. <laughs> and uh, yeah, again, this whole area is all nicely glassed in, like a big, one big window, basically. So then that brings us over through this doorway here to our next section, which has the prisons, the security room, and the chief's office. So I'm going to go ahead and start in the chief's office, and here is his through the window. So here's the chief, and his little desk area. You can see that he has a TV in there, and his little mini fridge. And uh, he's on a very fancy looking roll or spinny chair. And uh, he has his really cool computer. And since he's in a corner desk or corner office, he has his windows on all the sides. So that's pretty cool. Next, I'm going to move on right next door to the really cool looking, very small fingerprinting room where they do the photo and that stuff and the uh, fingerprint and they take the picture so through the window you can kind of see that the bad guy basically just stands here and that right there is a canvas like roll down thing that they basically roll down on the window and it covers him up and then this guy that officer there he takes the picture and he has his cool little camera there the little fingerprinting station there and if you go all the way back here you can kind of see that he has his own little computer and uh, keyboard. Next door to this, we have our security room. And that is just across the hall from the jail cells. So here, the guy literally just sits here and watches all the screens. And he has a little phone, emergency phone, walkie-talkie, little keyboard security things. And uh, yeah, so he's basically always in here, just making sure everything's all good and uh, yeah so across the hall from this we have the cells and these cells are very simple basically just small rooms with a toilet and a bed or a bench so this one is the more holding cell as you can see it's a little bit bigger so it's meant to hold maybe two or three people so next door to this we have our normal cell this one's unoccupied and these all have the jail doors which open like that. Then this one does have somebody in here and uh, these ones just have the very small beds that will most likely change out and you can see that there is actually printing or a sticker on those to show how far how long they've been here. So uh, yeah that one's more old because there's nobody in there. He uh, got out. But, uh, yeah so at the end of this hallway I have a nice window and you can just like look down see all the way through to the other wall. So, uh, yeah, that is pretty much it for the second floor. And you can really tell right here that I was rolling, 
running very low on pieces. So this brick base, this build, literally ate up almost all of my white pieces. So it is a very big build. Here's my hand. So yeah, it's a very large build. So now I'm gonna go and put on the roof, and I will see you there. So the last section of this build is the roof. So, on the roof I have several things, like you can here see here a satellite dish, a little antenna, you have roof access, some security cameras, and a helicopter pad. So the helicopter is just a normal LEGO City helicopter, and I will just move that off to the side here. So, I'm going to start over here with the roof access area. So that is just a very nice little door that opens up very nicely. And you see I have your uh, staircase. I have my antenna and my satellite, as well as your AC unit. Then over here, you have your security cameras, which just keep an eye on the little ground floor. And you have your little speaker. So just warn the police something's happening or something like that. Then you have your blue tile helipad. And that is just a nice helipad that fits this helicopter. So that is it for this roof. Now uh, I will finish up this video. So uh, yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Please leave a like and subscribe if you have enjoyed it. So uh, leave a comment. Tell me what else I should do or what else I should build or what I should change of this, you know? There's always something to change in everything. So, uh, yeah, hope you have enjoyed this video, and I also hope you uh, like the uh, little end part I add to the end of this. And, uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Like you do doubt.